Because of the new Mali's ability to make commandments work if it's linked to him, you can do some pretty funky stuff. I think it's written somewhere here. Or maybe it's on his ultimate, I don't know. Doesn't matter, you can do some pretty funky stuff. And one of them is using Estorosa, the old one, because his commandment is that every time someone attacks in the match, they get debuffed. Not this. They get debuffed by 20% attack related stats. But because Melee cleanses to get his, uh, his rank up, you can very much manipulate that. And right now, there's a very little amount of people actually running demons with, uh, with Demon King. So commandments are actually usable at the moment. It's not, I wasn't really going crazy for this ability. Uh, because I was like, okay, Mali's best team is with Demon King, and if you're going against Demon King, you can't even use it, right? But, not that many people are running demons right now, so it's fine. So long as you actually get Mali's first ball. So I did it by obviously removing the three stacks on the tier right there. You're going to be able to cleanse one debuff from each. Like right now we actually faced unknown so it's not the best example because I was going to get debuffed anyways. And because of the debuff King might actually die here. So we're not, we're, yeah we're not even going to get it unless he doesn't kill King. This is going to kill King. Never mind, you're, you're not as strong as I thought you were. Boom, we get the rank up. And this is gonna full wipe, so. Does she revive here? Yeah, she does, right? Yeah, but she revives with one health. I don't think she has Tarmia Link. The moment I wanna try this, I face someone with Demon King. You know what? Okay, he backed up. Demon Kings are not that common right now in JP. I don't know about Global. Sometimes global is like slightly different than JP. Let me know. Let me know if uh, the global meta is still demon based. But I swear, at nine out of ten people I face on JP are right not using sins. There we go. We got a sin team. So again, we need to um, make sure to actually proc at least one ball on Melly. It's like if you want to proc the second turn guaranteed rank up you're either gonna have to do a funky like thing like this where i guarantee that everyone's debuffed in the first attack here and i have a ball on melee or i mean if you double aoe with someone they're gonna get disabled by tarmiel link from the enemy team uh and then you're gonna have three balls on melee if you double like for example you have blue blue kings of green king he has two aoe cards so, if you just use both AoE cards, he's gonna get the Disable debuff. And if you AoE with Melee at the end of the turn, he's gonna have three balls, because he's gonna remove all the stacks from the enemies. So, that's a guaranteed rank up as well. But the meta right now is not using that Blue King, he's using the Green King instead. So, gotta do something like this if you wanna try that. They got a uh, King Merlin, no bot. Interesting. We'll go for this. The reason why I'm going for the single... I could actually go for the AoE on Melee. It doesn't really matter. I'm going for the single target with Melee. Only because I want the AoE to get ranked up. So I can potentially just team wipe. Ah, I didn't kill the Melee. I mean, this is a much tankier team. Not only he had a shield first. But... Nah. This is not a tankier team than using Bond. What am I saying? What does he have in the back though? Red Bond? Might be. I, I saw some people using red bond in the back. Because uh, then it inst because not only you're gonna have the uh, damage reduction from Merlin, but you get like an instant lower from uh, from that. That really killed King. Dang. I mean, we're still gonna win here, but I am surprised that killed King. Should I put Tarmor Link on King? No, then Bond would have died if I did. If I did. Who's in the back here? Don't tell me it's Askinor. 
It is the red bond, yeah. You get attack increase from bond, and then you also get the uh, the attack really a stab, but not attack, not attack lower, you know. The crit chance, crit damage, and pierce. I don't think Melly dies here. I don't think he has enough damage, so it's fine. That is a team to try as well. It is lower CC as well. Uh, if I do this, I'm gonna get the rank up. I'm gonna do this. I I, I have the attack buff as well. I've been mean, the rank up, so this is gonna do all damage. Yeah. Then I get the rank up. I should give that a try. At some point, it's a good team to go, to go second with for sure. Ooh, the one ultimate. Have not seen this guy in quite the while. His melee has Tarmiel Link. Should I just go for Bond here? I might just go for Bond here. Using the Bond debuff, because you know, if I don't, if I don't kill at the very least, I uh, I get to uh, debuff. You know. I do kill Bond, it's pretty good. The one risky thing about going for the kill on uh, on Bond here is that he might back out. But obviously, if you're just trying to win, that doesn't matter. But I'm trying to <laughs> get my, my thing for the video. Yeah, I don't think Askinner is really a usable character anymore, I'll be honest. He needs a Holy Relic. A powerful one, and that would be, uh, that'll be cool. But... As it is, like, he's just not doing enough, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is. This AoE is gonna do enough, though. Uh, in case Melly doesn't die somehow, you know, pop those attacks on him, too. He almost didn't die. If Askador, if, if Askador pops a, uh, a level 3 here, and fully wipes my team... Let's see. Nah, okay. Uh, unknown again. Again, against the unknown team, there's no need to do all this, you know? Because you are gonna be debuffing yourself anyways. I do like the the two unknown people I face actually true tr awaken their characters. They are main unknown character uh, unknown players. You know? This is commitment. The team is dead and gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> unknown is not good anymore. But they're still going for it. They're still trying. Uh, the DN is a weird choice, because yeah, you get damage cap for tier, but not for the real main character on the team, you know? The yeah, hell is uh Maybe I shouldn't have AoE'd with King against the unknown team. That might have been a not so smart idea. The end's damage cap, so she's not gonna die. But the other two. Wait, is the end? No, she is a Ragnarok unit! Oh my god. I actually forgot! The hell is a Ragnarok unit? It's because it, hell has never been used in a Ragnarok team. Or has she? Don't recall. Hell has never been used in an actual Ragnarok team. I actually forgot she's a Ragnarok unit. I'm gonna. I probably sounded so stupid for people that, you know, didn't just forget. There, I, it can't just be me that forgot she's a regular Rock unit. <laughs> Dude, she's a weird festival. She was a, a regular Rock unit that was meant to be run with like regular unknown teams. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked with King here. Oh, he did kill. Alright, good. Good one, King. She's gonna like full heal from this. Yeah. <laughs> I did 700k and Tarmi only healed like what, 300k or something? <laughs> Hal's gonna actually uh, solo win this. I clear as well, no, I still disabled. I'm just gonna move on. I would cut out of the video. <laughs> but 
It's whatever. It's whatever. I don't like hell. I don't like what she is and what she stands for. I don't care about her. About her. Instead of going for the Asteros, I went for the other way of getting the uh, the guaranteed because I think this way is better. You get the triple defense related stats for Melee anyways. Although I do sacrifice having an AoE, which means I can't really uh, fully wipe them next turn, so uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just stuck with the uh, the way I've been doing so far by utilizing the debuff. I mean, we got to see a level 3 single target, so... But level 3 AoE is way more satisfying. Oh, we got a uh, top guild king right here. We'll keep doing the same as before. Although I don't know if it's actually good going for melee here. I was gonna put some damage on him. And the bond debuff is as well. But he does get the attack buff from the king. I think it's whatever. It's whatever. Maybe I shouldn't break king's shield, because king with the attack buff actually kind of shreds the shield with the AoE. Like, yeah, look. Hey, melee didn't get broken, but still probably not ideal. I'm not gonna lie. I just, you know, we just watched the king do the uh, single target right there. I had not noticed the box in front of it. That's like the... Like a New Year's box thing. Pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I like this team. Obviously, <laughs> if you go second <laughs> with the Asterosa Commandment and the enemy realizes, right, that they click left here, they're gonna do it to you. So, it's a bit of a double edged sword. If they are aware of it and they're going first, they're gonna do it to their advantage, right? So you gotta be aware of that. I did a, the card order wrong. It still kills, whatever. But it's fun. There's definitely possibilities you can do with the commandments. As long as you don't, you don't face a demon king. But there's not that many, it's whatever. <laughs> 